What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am and today I have a story time that was sent in to me about this dude's stepmom that ended up like stealing his computer and selling it behind his back. It's a whole fiasco. It's pretty long as you can tell. So be sure to press the like button otherwise no joke no scam your gaming PC is gonna magically disappear and uh yeah without further ado let's get into it. <laughs> Nice rack in her ass Brazilian just turned 21 but my bank's a million. All right, so like I said, this was a subscriber story that was sent in to me and uh, he opened up by basically explaining that he has a stepmom that is kind of out to get him. She would start beef with him a lot, just overall try to like cause problems, drive a wedge between him and his dad. It was not the best situation. And uh, I don't really know what that's like, but I could assume it's not a very pleasant feeling obviously, and over time she would just kind of pick on him whenever he would be downstairs she would pick fights with him so he just stopped going downstairs he kind of got the hint that she didn't want him around so he would spend a lot of time in his rooms playing video games he had gotten a gaming pc like after he got his first job he saved up and bought one so you know when he realized that she didn't want him like hanging out down there he would just go to his room and play video games a lot he got pretty into valorant pretty into league that type of stuff and honestly he thought that that was the best solution right anytime he goes downstairs it turns into an argument his dad gets mad at him so just avoiding the argument altogether and spending time in my room playing video games is what he thought would be the best solution. And uh, if you think about it, it probably was. Like, he stays out of his stepmom's way, you know, she doesn't beef with him overall. Like, he just assumes it's the best way to deal with it other than, other than just not living there anymore. At least he thought so, right? And he had thought he'd been doing his best to kind of not be causing trouble. But of course, his stepmom, kind of trying to start beef with him, was always looking for something to have a fight about. And after a while of him being in his room, playing video games, avoiding them, she started saying that he was being antisocial, he wasn't a normal kid, the video games were like turning him into a zombie. And, you know, it wasn't like he was playing all day every day, it was when he was home, but he did have a job, he did go to school, he did do stuff after school, it's not like he was just doing this 24 hours a day but whatever she was like it's turned you so angry you know you get so uh, angry with me when like give me attitude when I ask you to do simple things and in his mind he's like yeah because you hate me and every time I come downstairs you want to fight with me but whatever his stepmom says that they're gonna have a family meeting to talk about his video game addiction except it was less of a family meeting where there's a back and forth and more of like an intervention where his stepmom and his dad just kind of lectured him about how he plays too many video games and like I said it was something that he did a lot whenever he was at his dad's house but it wasn't something that he was doing like literally 24 7 it was just to kind of avoid fighting anyways his dad's like yeah you're just playing way too much you know it's just kind of become a problem and he's kind of getting annoyed because he's feeling attacked at this point so his response to his dad is like yeah well the only reason I'm in my room playing video games all day is because whenever I try to come downstairs and do anything it causes a problem and she just starts to yell at me and he's like well we're not trying to turn this into into something about her this is a meeting about your video game problems so this isn't about that and this is just kind of unfair right like you can't just come at somebody and listen to no explanation on why it's a problem like okay yeah we want to solve this but we just don't actually want to solve it unless you just do what we want and his dad says that we think you need to cut back and we're going to be imposing restrictions I'm only going to let you be on your PC for one hour a day when you're here and like it just is what it is you have to deal with it and he kind of argues for a little bit just kind of about how like it's not really fair because he's not addicted to video games he doesn't even have a computer as his mom so like obviously it's not an issue and his dad's just not budging it's going to be an hour a day and after a little bit he's like fine whatever he's really annoyed mainly annoyed at the fact that his stepmom had turned it into like some crazy addiction you know that he had that was ruining his family but he figures out that like one hour a day is better than nothing and if it just kind of helps the problem go away then like he'll just kind of do it right whatever at least he can still play video games when he's at his dad's house he just won't be there a lot in terms of like after school he'll try to stay after school and so for a while they start to like do the formula that his dad wanted where he would come home do his homework and then after that he would have an hour of playing games and he's pretty okay with it you know he's not trying to be annoying he's not trying to like cause any issues he's not even complaining about it he had just kind of accepted that it was the way that it was 
In fact, he had started to, like, pick up some other hobbies to do when he was at his dad's house. He had got a skateboard, you know? Like, he had just kind of started getting into other stuff to fill his time since he wasn't allowed to play video games anymore. And he thought everything's going good. On top of that, you know, he uh, was, like, asking his dad if he could take the computer to his mom's. And his dad was kind of open to the idea, so he was hoping he'd be able to play more over there where the rule's a little bit more fair. But one day, he comes home from school, and, like, he walks in, and sitting at the kitchen table is his step mom and his dad and they're looking very serious and they're like sit down we need to talk you know there's still a lot of issues going on and he's kind of blindsided by this and his dad's like we think that you're still playing too much like we think that you are still playing video games too often even with this it's still affecting your behavior and he's just more confused than anything right he's like what are you talking about I've been playing an hour a day I've been following all your rules I haven't been like having any issues at school I haven't been fighting with you guys outside of like still kind of trying his step mom trying to like pick fights over small stuff you know he's like what are you talking about how has it been an issue how is this still a problem I've been following your rules that you said and then his dad says something that starts to make his blood boil right he's like well your stepmom found out that you've been secretly like sneaking down here and playing whenever we go to bed he had been forced to like move his computer out into the living room right and his stepmom apparently had found proof that he had been like sneaking out of his room to kind of like play video games behind their back he was sneaking all of this computer time and obviously that starts to make his blood boil and he starts trying to defend himself because there's only one problem with this accusation. He just really wasn't doing it. Like I said, he had like literally gotten other hobbies to kind of fill in the time that he had been spending playing video games. He wasn't complaining. He wasn't fighting with them. He just seriously hadn't had a problem with it. So now here he is getting accused of like going behind their back and sneaking video game time. Obviously he's trying to defend himself. So he just kind of tells his dad like, that's not true. I have not been doing that. I want to see the proof roof of me coming down here and secretly playing because that's just not happening like that's just not reality and his dad is kind of like well you know she says that there's proof and he's like well then show me the proof and his dad gets kind of defensive and says well are you calling her a liar like are you trying to say that your stepmom is lying and he's like I'm not trying to call her a liar I'm telling you that I didn't do it if she has proof of me doing it and she says that then she's not being honest about having proof because I didn't do it and at that point his stepmom talks up or speaks up that entire time she had just been kind of like watching this go down and she's like this computer is ruining our family look at this it has you accusing me of being a liar trust me I watched this video and talked to some of my friends and they were telling me how their kids sneak computer time so I know you've been doing it and on top of this computer ruining the family it seems like your attitude is ruining this family too like you're the reason this family is getting ruined and that one kind of hits him in the feels bro you don't ever want to have like any parents stepmom, stepdad, mom or dad tell you that you're the reason your family's getting ruined. So whatever, he's like, you know what, fine, I guess it's a problem, but like, I hate you. He says that, he goes upstairs, and he regrets it, he texts them both an apology about it, things just got kind of heated, and, uh, you know, they didn't really reply, he goes to school the next day, and he's just sitting there thinking about it, and he's having some regrets about, like, the entire situation, obviously, but, you know, he's also really upset, because they keep accusing him of stuff he's just not doing, like, he just is not sneaking around behind their back playing on the computer, he's not doing that, and yet they're, like, mad at him for it so whatever he comes home and when he walks in he notices that the desk where his setup had been is gone you know the computers are gone the monitors are gone and like I said in the beginning of the story time he had paid for it himself like this isn't a situation where homie got the gaming setup for Christmas and then was a bad kid so mom and dad took it away like he was a old enough to have a job got a job isn't some like little baby kid that needs his Xbox taken away you know like is old enough to have worked a job for a summer and gotten money and then bought his own own computer so obviously your parents can still take stuff away from you but it's not a situation where like he just wants all of this expensive equipment that he spent all of his savings on to just be missing and him have no idea where it is so he's pissed off and he goes and his stepmom was the only person home at the time and he's like where is all my stuff like where is my gaming stuff it's fine if I can't play it for a bit but like can you tell me where it is because I paid a lot of money for it and she all smugly is like well after you called me a liar I decided that I didn't want it in my house anymore so I sold it and he's like you you sold it you sold it and she's like yeah I sold it and I'm keeping the money for all the hassle it's caused and he's like how much did you sell it for and she looks at him and she goes $700 which is 
isn't even enough to begin covering all the annoyance that I've had to deal with. And the only problem with this is like homie had worked his summer job the entire summer and because he was working so much he didn't have time to spend money. Well, it got to the end of the summer and he had made $5,000. Pretty impressive, right? He had spent it on his setup, right? Like he had just spent it all on his setup. So she had taken the $5,000 setup that he had gotten at the end of the summer and sold it for $700 without his permission. And he had paid all of the money for it, right? So he starts to get pissed, obviously. And he's like, you did what? You sold my stuff without asking me? Why would you do that? What's wrong with you? And he has every right to be mad. I think anyone would be mad in this situation, dude. This is the equivalent of like, you know, $5,000. That's the same price range of like a first car. Someone just taking your first car and selling it without your permission. So he goes upstairs and he waits for his dad to get home and his dad comes home and he's like, dad, you know, she sold my computer. She didn't ask me. She sold it for $700. I paid $5,000 of my money. And instead of his dad backing him up at all, he just kind of throws him right under the bus. He's like, well, you know, it was causing issues. Like, I don't really know. I can understand why she didn't want it around. And he's like, well, even if she was going to sell it, whatever, you don't want it around, sell it for $5,000. Like you're going to keep the money. That's a not fair because you didn't pay for it. And B, you sold it for like 90% off. Obviously, I'm going to be mad when you just wasted all of my hard work. And I guess she had been listening at that point. Like she wasn't in the room, but she had been standing kind of outside the door so she could hear the conversation. And she comes in to defend herself at that point. And they just start arguing. There's a lot of back and forth. There's some insults thrown back and forth as there is. And basically she doesn't think that she was in the wrong. She's like, I think that I had every right to sell that computer for whatever price I wanted. I don't think I have to give you any money for it. And honestly, it's annoying that you think that you're owed anything for it. And like, this is just unfair, bro. You can't just sell people stuff that they paid for and then be surprised Pikachu when they're mad. You could have just taken it away, said like, I don't want it at my house, so take it to your mom's house. You know what I mean? It could have been something like that. I feel like you, you cannot be surprised that someone's pissed that you sold like their prized possession that they had worked an entire summer before. I think anyone would get mad at that regardless of what it is. Like, hey, I'm not gonna lie. Some people spend their money on stupid stuff. I, I personally don't understand why someone would spend like 800 grand on an NFT. But if someone stole your NFT worth 800 grand, you'd probably be pretty pissed off about it. That's for sure. Anyways, like I said, he's got a job and it just so happened that he had to work that night. So he's like, all right, well, I'm going to work. Thank you for selling my computer. That really sucks. I'm not coming back tonight. I'm gonna go stay at my mom's. And his dad's like, well, you know, you're not supposed to be at your mom's. He's like, I don't care. I don't want to be here anymore. Like, I don't think you understand. Like, I'm not going to come back right now. Like, as it currently stands, I'm never coming back right here. I'm not trying to be dramatic. I'm not trying to fight with you. I just, like, I'm not going to live somewhere where I can't keep my stuff without worrying about it being sold for way less than it's worth. So whatever, he goes to work and he's pretty pissed off about it. And he ends up going to his mom's house afterwards and he starts, like, venting to her about it, right? And she's obviously pretty pissed. Like, you know, because anyone would be mad about their kid being in this situation. And she's trying to help him solve the problem. And she's like, well, what if you can find out who bought it? Like, what if you find out who bought it? Maybe they'll let you buy it back from him. And he's like, eh, there's probably no chance that's going to happen. They got a great deal. But, you know, maybe you're right. So he calls his stepmom and he's like, will you tell me who bought it so I can try to figure out a way to get it back? And she's like arguing with him on the phone. She doesn't want to give him the name. But finally, after some arguing, back and forth she like relents and gives him the name so whatever he ends up looking up the guy and he finds his Facebook profile and he's really confused because the guy is Facebook friends with his stepmom right it's like they kind of know each other so he's doing a little bit of research he's kind of stalking trying to figure out the connection and he realizes that it's one of her best friends kids that she had sold this computer to and uh, you know he starts to be like well that's suspicious this kind of smells like a setup so he ends up messaging him and then just says, hey, I think you bought my computer. You know, uh, I wasn't supposed to have sold that. Like that was not supposed to have been sold. She sold it without my permission. Do you still have it? Can I get it back at all? And he's just hoping that the guy reaches back out and is cool. You know, obviously he did buy it. It's not his fault that he got a good deal. And the guy replies and was like, yeah, dude, she was super insistent that I come buy it. I offered to pay more and she told me no. I had told her I didn't want to buy it before, but like she kept demanding that I come buy it. And obviously after a while, the deal was so good to pass up and she was so insistent I just couldn't say no and he's like well what do you mean she was insistent and basically she had started messaging him like weeks in weeks before she ended up selling the
telling the computer about how, you know, she has this stepson who has this computer and she just wants to get rid of it. So if he wants to buy it, just let her know. And she had sent pictures because she didn't know what it was. And he was like, yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't sell it because he could tell that like it was somebody who really likes computers computer. You know what I mean? And she's like, no, he's annoying. I want to sell it. I want to sell it, you know, uh, $700. And he's like, well, I'll give you like three grand. She's like, no, 700 so basically this lady had been pestering this dude for weeks to come buy her stepson's computer and you know she had tried to make it this whole we're having issues as a family nah she had been setting this up for a very long time this was her plan from the start she didn't get pushed to the edge and get rid of the computer like this this was the plan from the jump and so whatever finally after a while he's like obviously after so much of her begging and asking for weeks like eventually i said yes it is a good deal i can make money off of it obviously she She's not going to leave me alone. And he's like, okay, well, thank you for telling me all that. Do you still have my computer? Is there anything I can do to get it back from you? You know, I'm willing to pay. And he uh, got some news, which was not the best, but like you really can't be mad at the guy for it, right? It was it was not the fortunate news. His PC was definitely gone by that point. And seriously, you can't be mad at the guy because like he had told the stepmom no for weeks. He had been trying to not do it, but like after a while, the deal was too good. He had bought it for 700 from the stepmom and then flipped it that day for like four grand. So yeah, I obviously in that situation you can't be too mad at the guy because he's like listen dude it's just the easiest money i could have ever possibly made your mom was insistent i come buy it and your stepmom was literally begging me to buy it it's not like he had gone to her and like given her a lowball deal just taking advantage of it no he had just been like i mean if you insist that i pay less money fine but what he does give him instead is all the screenshots of his mom kind of setting this up forcing him to take less money all of this stuff which you know is uh, pretty pretty good evidence to have this time around you know are you calling her a liar well now I am yeah yeah so at that point he's like okay well I've got to tell my dad about this you know this is obviously unfair this should have never been a situation in the first place I kind of got set up my PC was gone whether or not I did anything wrong like I was going to come home to it gone regardless and it's just not worth it and in some of the screenshots she's like calling him a moron she keeps referring to him as her idiot stepson she's just overall not being very nice so he goes to his dad and like drops all this evidence off kind of tells him everything and he expects his dad to be pissed off and like have his back you know kind of get a little bit angry not that like he expects the end of the world or anything but maybe a little bit like oh I can't believe this happened and his dad just kind of lets off a deep sigh and is like well whatever if it's that important to you do you want me to buy you a new one and he just can't believe that his dad is like so calm about it he didn't expect him to freak out and like burn the house down or anything but maybe an apology or something for like getting mad at him all this stuff and so he starts to get pissed off and she's like he explains to his dad she is literally plotting to take away my favorite stuff make me not like it here and you just like don't really care like what is going on and he's like well do you want a new computer or not like all of this over a computer just isn't worth it and he's like dad at this point this is just not about the computer like this is way more than the computer now do you not get that and his dad is just like no I just I just don't really understand why this computer is so important and at that point he's like whatever I'm gonna go live with mom I'm just causing too many issues here clearly so I'm just gonna leave and his dad is like well I don't want you to live with your mom but fine I'll still buy you a new computer either way so his dad buys him a new computer which is the least he can do in that situation right like the bare minimum you you owe the kid a new computer if you set him up sell it for less than it's worth and you did and pay for it then like ah you got to give him a new one but he does end up living at his mom's and during this time you know he had a job so it's like the end of high school ish so he's like picking his college doing all that stuff and uh one day when he's doing all that he's coming home from work and he's talking to his mom about what school he's gonna go to he just gets this wall of text from his stepmom and he probably hadn't heard from them in like psh, a couple weeks at that point maybe a month like it had been a little bit and it's just this wall of text and when he first gets it he's expecting it to be an apology you know maybe a little bit of like I'm sorry for selling your computer behind your back that was wrong of me but instead it's just a wall of text detailing how he's the most ungrateful person ever he's so addicted to video games that he's never gonna amount to anything in his life no girl would ever be willing to date someone that plays games as much as he does she's literally met dogs that are better behaved than them just an insanely insulting like text especially after not talking to somebody for a month 
obviously some people take gaming addiction too far. Like, I don't want people to watch this video and be like, nope, people should never intervene if someone's playing video games 18 hours a day. You should. If that's all somebody does and they're like punching monitors over Valorant, they got a problem. But that's not this guy. Like, he's picking out his college. He has a job, you know, he's going to school. He's got activities. It's just not a situation where he's ruining his life with a gaming addiction. Like, he's not going to be a loser because he plays video games. It's not 1971. But at the very end of the angry text is just like the coup d'etat, you know? I've been trying to use that slang more. It's very nice. I think that means takeover of the government, but it sounds foreign. Anyways, he's kind of uh, disowned. She's basically like, I don't consider you my stepson anymore. I want no connection to you. And then she goes on to detail about how that means that she doesn't want him to come to her birthday. She won't be coming to his birthday. She doesn't want to see him on holidays. And then she lists out the holidays, you know, just in case you thought holidays holidays wasn't descript enough, you know, like, hmm, yes, in this family we do consider Memorial Day a holiday, so that is going to be on the list of stuff that you can't come to. And she's literally just disowning this kid, and he hasn't talked to them in a month. So, like, if she really wanted to just disown him and never see him again, she didn't have to say anything. Like, she's going out of her way to send this text to let him know that she hates him. And, uh, honestly, I'm sure in her mind she thought it was gonna, like, crush his heart and just absolutely shatter everything about him, but he really wasn't that upset. Like, he kind of of knew that they didn't get along. Obviously, I think by that point, it had become blisteringly obvious that, like, they probably were not the largest fan of each other. You know, you don't butt heads this much because you guys get along very well. So, he decides at that point that, like, he's just kind of okay with it. He doesn't really need to be around him regardless. If they don't want him around, fine, fair enough. He doesn't really want to be around him anyways. But he gets home and he shows his mom the text, and his mom obviously, like, is pissed. You know, he had moved in with his mom, he had the computer there, and his mom had just been listening to him to complain about all this because it was obviously a lot for him. And so she's pissed off and she's like, I'm going to call your stepmom and give her a piece of my mind. Like, I'm going to let her know that what she's doing is unfair and I'm going to call your dad. And at that point, he's like, eh, it's just really not worth it. And he realized that he just did not care that much, you know? Because his mom was sitting here like, okay, well, I'm going to call her and I'm going to go off about how dare she talk to you about this. And then I'm going to call your dad and let him know what his wife did. And instead of just, like, letting her go through with it, which probably would have been pretty funny, you know, he just literally told her, like, it's just not worth it, you know? I, if, if I was upset, if I really felt like spending holidays with them anyways, then sure, by all means, I would let you do it, but whatever. He basically explains to his mom that, like, her side of the family's better. If he had to spend Christmas at just that grandma's, then he would be okay with that, especially because, like, who wants to spend the holidays somewhere where they just really don't want you? You know what I mean? Like, it's not like his step parents did a great job of making him feel welcomed. I wouldn't want to spend Thanksgiving at a place that had just threatened to uninvite me to Thanksgiving a week ago, because, like, obviously you just don't want me here. But he decides at that point that he might as well troll his stepmom. Like, if she's gonna send this text and try to ruin his day and make him feel like garbage, then the least he could do is, like, goof off and troll her a little bit and maybe try to even things out a bit. So he decides to just text back okay with confetti. Like, if you don't have an iPhone, you can send messages with effects. So when she sees the reply, it's just gonna be okay and a bunch of confetti popping up on the screen. He just thought it was funny. And like I said, he just really didn't care. At that point, he was kind of numb to it. He's like, eh, all right, fine, whatever. You guys don't like me, it's fine. So he sends the okay with the confetti, and he's just imagining her opening it up and getting to the like, ta-da, thank you. At least I don't have to spend Christmas with your family, confetti. And so uh, she's he's looking at it, and she sees it, the red thing pops up, and she starts typing immediately. And like I said, this guy's in troll mode now. No matter how seriously she replies, no matter, like, what she says, he's just not taking it very seriously, and he's just gonna reply in the most, like, immature, stupid way possible. And she's typing for quite some time. You know, those thumbs are getting a little bit of a workout. Be on the checkout for Carpal Tunnel if you send texts as long as this lady. Seriously, she's out here writing novels, bro. You know they say J.K. Rowling, like, wrote the first Harry Potter on a napkin, dude. This lady's writing books out here on the speak and spell. Anyways, the tirade that she ends up sending back is, like, how this type of immature communication is exactly why she wasn't gonna miss him. She poured her heart out about his feelings and his only response was okay with an immature animation. I don't know how you're gonna call him immature. You're the one like sending an 80 page breakup text to your stepson. Like fine, just don't invite him to Christmas, bro. That seems more immature. Okay, but whatever. He's just kind of reading this and he's laughing at it. Like it literally is funny to him because he's like, you're the one disowning me. I feel like that's a little bit more immature. Like getting over it is supposed to be the parent's job. 
All right, guys, I'm going to interrupt the video for just one second. If you take a look at your screen now, you'll see a gift card code. For those of you that don't know, I give one of these away in every video I post on this channel to say thank you to you guys for supporting me and having on those notifications. So if you haven't already, you should do that. And uh, yeah, big thank you to everyone who already does. And while I've got your attention, be sure to press the like button. Otherwise, no joke, no scam, your mom's a hoe. And let's get back to the video. Anyways, he just sends okay with the confetti again. Like, that's his response, which is honestly the best way to do it. And this time, she's starts typing, she stops typing, and instead of a text message, he gets a FaceTime call. And obviously, when you get a FaceTime call from someone you're arguing with, you gotta answer it. And he answers it, and she starts screaming like, this is why I don't like you, you can't take anything seriously, look at I'm trying to get my emotions out, and you're just sending okay with confetti! And he very calmly just like looks at her and goes, are you done yelling? And she's like, what do you mean am I done yelling? I can yell as much as I want. Hey, who are you to tell me if I can yell? And he goes, okay. And then very calmly starts to explain that, you know, from what I understood with your text, you're disowning me. You don't want me at your birthday. You don't want me in your family. You don't want me in your life. So I'm just kind of confused on how I'm supposed to stay out of your life if you're then going to FaceTime me and argue with me. I'm trying to be disowned, you know, the reason I'm saying okay is because I don't really care. So if you don't want to talk to me anymore, then just don't talk to me anymore. It's really that simple. And she's sitting there for a second, like thinking about what he just said, right? It's almost like too much logic at one time, like just too easy. And then she asks him, she's like, oh, so you really want me to disown you? Like, that's what you want? Are you serious? Like, that's what you want? Do you have any idea how much I could have helped you in life? I could have helped you get into college. I could have helped you with this. I could have helped you with that. So you let me know, is is you getting disowned by me really what you want? And it comes to find out, at least he doesn't know this, but this is what it's kind of feeling like to me. This is just my game theory here. It's like she wanted to threaten to disown him so he would apologize and come back, right? And then he was like, okay. And then she's like, oh, I didn't mean this. Are you, well, you're really sure you want me to disown you? And the only response he has to her being like, are you really sure you want me to disown you is his honest opinion. So he says it again. I don't care. I don't live there anymore. I don't need to see you anymore. You do whatever you want. It's not like it actually matters to me, right? And his stepmom is like, wow, all of this over some stupid gaming computer. You're giving up your family over this. And he's like, I'm not giving up my family over this. I'm not the one that sent the text disowning me, okay? And at this point, it's way more than just the stupid video games. You sold my stuff without asking me. You don't respect me. And then you just texted me how much I suck and you don't want to, like, have anything to do with me anymore. I have nothing to do with this. This isn't about a gaming computer. Which is fair, dude. I feel like at this point, it's way deeper than a gaming PC. If you guys are on FaceTime screaming at each other about, like, you know, disowning each other and how much you hate each other, clearly, I feel like it's gone past the point of still being about the PC. And seriously, I just don't understand what this lady was thinking, dude. You can't plot to steal someone's favorite thing behind their backs for weeks. Go through with it. Them find out and then be surprised when they're like still mad at you and even then like he pointed out you were the one that disowned him like you want to know how to make sure that you don't disown people over video games uh you don't threaten to disown them over video games you asked to never talk to him again all he, he was trying to do is comply with your request you know if this guy was a customer service representative you would need to give him five stars because he's just doing everything you ask never contact me again okay fine i'll never talk to you again huh that's really what you want to never talk to me again it's like i'm very confused on what you want me to do right now so whatever he's like okay are we done here you know and when he says are we done here her response is if you hang up right now i will never talk to you again you will never hear from me again so just think long and hard and before she can finish her sentence he just hangs up the phone which honestly has to be one of the most g moves of all time dude if you're really sure that you never want to talk to me again then hang click like just end it right before you know the sentence could even be finished and he texts her right after he hangs up he doesn't give her a chance to text him he just says okay please stop i don't care like you know just does not care whatsoever and for the next few days he doesn't hear anything from her at all he's like finally you know i get to live my life in peace it is what it is it sucks it had to be like this but whatever 
And, you know, he thinks it, it it's over because she doesn't reply for a few days to him being annoyed. Especially because when he hung up, she had said, if you hang up, you're never going to hear from me again. And he hadn't heard from her. So he's like, all right, whatever it is, what it is, it's just over. And he is assuming that he's disowned at this point. You know, that's what she had said. He was just uh, trying to follow through with what, you know, was being imposed on him. Well, after a few days, he gets a text from his stepmom basically being like, hey, I'm sorry, can we talk? And he just ignores it. And she starts to text him like every day. Can we talk? Can we talk, please? And it's getting more and more desperate. And I guess what had happened was is he was ignoring his dad too. And eventually his dad kind of caught on. And his dad wasn't too happy about the text she had sent disowning him and saying he was never allowed to come around anymore as he would be. And so now his stepmom was just like trying to fix it, doing everything he can. And he's just ignoring her. He just does not care whatsoever. And one day he comes home and he sees her car sitting in front of his mom's house. And she gets out and she's like, listen, I'm really, really sorry. I don't know what I can do to fix this here. And she gives him $5,000, which is what his computer was worth, what she paid for. She's like, I understand that stealing your stuff was wrong. You know, I shouldn't have done it. And I'm sorry. And he looked at her and was like, you can keep the money. I just don't really care. And just went inside and she's like no please forgive me please forgive me and he's like fine I forgive you but I just don't really want to see you that much like please go away and he texted his dad he said it was fine but he was just going to be spending time with his mom from now on like he wasn't mad at them he would he would come see him on his birthday and stuff but he just didn't really feel comfortable there which you can't blame him dude like if somebody's plotting to steal all your stuff and then actually does like does it I can understand why you're like I just don't really want to hang out there I don't hate you you know he he genuinely in the message was like I don't hate my stepmom I don't hate my dad I just don't really want to hang out there Obviously, you know, no bad blood, but even to this day, he talks to them sometimes, but it's not the way that it used to be. Probably won't be, and that sucks. It's unfortunate things gotta be like that, but yeah, I, I don't know. This situation overall just really sucks, dude. It's just not worth it, dude. Not worth throwing away your family to get mad at somebody for playing too many video games. You know, it would be one thing if he's like 47 living in the basement playing World of Warcraft 18 hours a day with a scent that can only be described as a landfill. Like, that's one thing. But if he's just kind of doing his thing, having a hobby I don't know why it needed to be this serious it could have just never been escalated to this point and it would have been fine but no yeah that's uh that's the situation though moral of the story don't throw away your family over a gaming computer because I promise you the gaming PC will not last as long as the family does hopefully anyways guys I think that's gonna do it for the video hopefully you enjoyed if you did please be sure to press the like button let me know in the comment section down below what you thought this is my longest video in a while I know you guys like the long ones I've been really trying to make them longer so if you do appreciate that you know you're seeing my effort if you could press the like button and comment it does help the video do better in the algorithm but on top of that I'll put a link to the intro song down below with a link to my podcast the scuffed cast or you could use code scrubby at the G fuel checkout another great way to help me out and get a discount on G Fuel. Other than that, two more things I gotta shout out. First things first, I did go ahead and put some of my story times up on Spotify, so if you want to listen to them with no gameplay, offline, whatever it may be, that link's also gonna be in the description. And last but certainly not least, we got the Karen Christmas sweater, which may be the coolest merch to ever exist. I will put that link at the top of the description, but be sure to go check that out so you can get festive and have yourself a great holiday season. And uh, yeah, on that note, guys, I think that's gonna do it for the video. Thank you so much for watching like comment subscribe like i said don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot and hopefully i will see each and every single one of you guys next time with another video i'm gonna go steal someone in the house's computer and sell it without their permission now and i'll see you guys next time i'm out peace